don't want to hit you, I want to kill you. You know, it just means that, you know, there's uh there's levels to how speech. much energy you, you put into these people. Not, I'm yeah. from the bloodline you know? of King yeah. David. We put, we, put, King David we put all our energy I'm into this. Right. Right. See what I'm saying? Bloodline. Our parents, yeah, we can deal with them. City Hall. But they're not believers. Ninth Circuit, everybody knows it, it's ass. all about the believers, man. Do you have children? It's all, it's all about the elect. Here right. on right. Well, what are y'all trying to say in John 17? I pray Is not anybody for the world. registered right. under the tribe of it Judah says, in their first Say Luke year. 14 and 26. I guarantee you are not. If any so man come Satan. to me and hate not his father are you registered and mother under the tribe of and wife and children you are not and brother and Judah. sisters, yay, in his own it's life. Wait, hold on, hold, hold on, even your own life. Yeah. See what I'm yeah. saying? That goes into the sacrifice. What are you uh -huh. talking you about? You gotta, this is you gotta put away sense. all the shit that you thought you wanted to do. So I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rakakodash, Yahweh being the name of the Heavenly Father, the Holy One of Israel, whom the world ignorantly calls God, in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, in the name of the Holy Spirit, double honors to the apostles and the elders of the Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, those men that are doing His work in sincerity and truth. And much love to the one third of you believers out there, you men, women, and children of the house of David. To you all, I say shalom and greetings. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying through the spirit. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to name this one yet. Something along of uh, you can't register to be an Israelite or Israelite registration, something like that. Now, granted, we did have a registry in our ancient times, and I'm I have a scripture on that. You know, but I want to get into uh, what happened, uh, and I'm gonna pull out some precepts. So, these are the uh, the wise brothers out, and uh, excuse me, in San Francisco Bay, uh, Cali, um, and uh, you know these and watch and subscribe to these brothers. I I Lord willing, I put the link in the description box box because I believe their last channel got flagged or struck down and got taken down. You know, but. These are uh, these brothers are you know constantly educating and edifying uh, the whole elect, and you know you you is demons be popping up, man. Point blank, period. Demons be popping up, and so as I was watching, you know, I didn't even expect this to happen, but I was just you know you never know what you expect through the spirit. The Lord always got something, so I was just checking the brothers out, you know, and. Um, you know, at first they were just, you know, in the spirit. You know, the brothers was just in the spirit. And then next thing you know, you hear this lady just coming up and she's scoffing and she's talking and just like nonstop. You know, and I, like you see the, the clip that I put up. Actually, I forgot I did that. Yeah, there's a clip that I put up and she just like nagging the brothers and yelling. And she just real proud, especially to be a woman, too, which is worst of it all. And this is why we tell you women about your humility and about being submissive and being able to listen. Now, <laughs> you know, this woman, I mean, she could be, you know, from a Levi or a Benjaminite, but if she didn't get nothing else right, I believe for a surety that she from the tribe of Judah. <laughs> but she don't know why she is. But with that straight nigga woman attitude, man, I wouldn't doubt that she is. But, you know, she might not look like a typical Judite, but who knows, man? It's all through the spirit. But nonetheless... I want to get some scriptures because uh, she was saying some real out of pocket and off the wall things. And ultimately, this woman is going to be destroyed, man, because she was blaspheming the name of Yahweh Shai. She was saying how his name, how Yahweh Shai is a devil, um, you know, and it says that according to the scripture. So she didn't understand that by scoffing, she was saying righteous things. But she wasn't saying them in the right manner. But the brothers took things that the things that she was saying was spiritual because she served Yeshua Hamashiach, <laughs> you know, and all of this kind of stuff, man. So the brothers were kind of they weren't at first they weren't even engaging with her. They were just, you know, speaking through the spirit, continuing their lesson. But um, they were kind of still edifying about things that she was saying without directly talking to her. But um, she made a comment. She said that. I'm registered with the city hall under the tribe of Judah. And she was yelling, are any of y'all uh, 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 descendants of uh, King David? Are any of y'all descendants of Yeshua? You know, all of this kind of stuff. And 
So it just really showed that she's a loud woman who has no understanding. And she's just yelling at the top of her lungs because most likely she was taught by men who had no understanding. Because some of the things that she was saying, she said, my my family, my my nephews and my, my people, you know, they know they're Israelites, but they ain't out in no street corners. And so, you know, uh, the elder brother there to the right, uh, he mentioned, he said, that's because they're not prophets. <laughs> and straight like that, man. And, you know, when you read 1 Corinthians 14 and 32, it says the spirit of the prophets is subject to the prophets. And so if they're not prophets. That means you need to be quiet then. OK, she need to be quiet regardless. But um, let me go ahead and get these scriptures. And I, I always try to watch these brothers le lessons, even with their private channels. You know, the brother there to the left, the elder brother there to the left. Um. He uh, and I believe he would say he's he would say like he's not an elder. You know, I've had a couple of online interactions with him. Uh, but I believe his page is GMS Dedication. But you know, that's a that's a wise brother too. Like I, he he when I actually, when I was first uh coming into the truth, one of the few first couple of lessons I saw, I remember him talking about um, uh the two thirds, and he was the he was the one who convinced me that. Uh, that two thirds of our people are going to be destroyed, and that Edomites are going into slavery. <laughs> um, but nonetheless, let me get these scriptures. This is uh, Exodus twenty three and thirty two. It says, "Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods." Right, and so we know that this is a lot of time during the time we were fighting uh, the Hamites, you know, and things like that. But the Lord says that we're not supposed to make any covenants with uh, the heathens, uh, nor with their gods. All right. Um, so it's, it says, um, so we're not supposed to make covenants with them nor their gods because, and see, that's what she did by going in saying, oh, I'm from the tribe of Judah. And she's making herself a target going down to city hall, registering under the tribe of Judah. She's making herself a big target and she don't even understand it. I can't, I can imagine her down at city hall yelling loud about how she wants to register uh, under the tribe of Judah. You know, she said, do, they, do it say that on any of y'all uh, birth certificates? Not understand that she's still a slave. And she, what's the point of going into Esau's office to tell him that you from the tribe of Judah so you can put it on your goddamn birth certificate, right? For what? You know, and see, she doesn't understand the way of the scriptures. She doesn't understand the way of the Lord. And that's, she's taught by men that don't understand the Bible. And we can, we can see that. That's why... And this is another reason why women are supposed to be quiet, because a lot of these women, even though they may have men that they believe are in the truth, quote unquote, but they're not in the truth. They don't teach. They don't go onto the highways and byways. They don't truly know. They're not uh, doing the work to the Lord. And that's what the brothers were going into there. Matthew 12 and about 47, 48 verse on down, which talks about those that do the will of my father are my, my brother, my mother, and my sister. You know, those are the, do the will of my father. You know, and so uh, the, the her family members clearly aren't doing the will of Yahweh Bashmi al Shai. You know, um, and she, granted, she did have a head wrap on, I'll say that, but that was probably about the only righteous thing about her. You know, but having a head wrap on makes it in vain if you're not willing to be submissive to the scriptures, and that's what they were going into about falling into the under the captivity of uh the understanding of the Lord about being obedient, you know, and so a woman can wear a head wrap all day, but if you're out of order, the head wrap is in vain. Like we would rather have a woman who doesn't have a head wrap on, who will sit there and listen and understand and take heed and 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 big good tidings and blessings upon the brothers and then go about her way and then the Lord may have mercy on her. But if you got a hair wrap on and you 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 being over righteous and you being wicked and demonic and speaking and yelling, hey man, the Lord gonna destroy you. And she she said like yeah she she of the elect, man. The brother told her you not of the elect. He told her straight up. Uh, but this is Job, chapter eight and verse eight. It says for inquire I pray thee of the former age and prepare thyself for the search of their fathers, for we are but of yesterday and know nothing because our days upon earth are a shadow. So it does say we're supposed to prepare to search for our fathers, right? But how do we do that now? We, in a couple ways that you do it, 
right? You might talk to your, your father and then you might find out about your grandfather, you know, but really the search of your fathers really just goes back to through the spirit because who are the real fathers that we're trying to, that we were trying to uh, find out who they are, are the 12 patriarchs of uh, the descendants of Israel, right? So that, that's the real search to find out uh, what tribe you come from through the spirit, Okay, and obviously it's according to the flesh, but it's through the spirit. She's saying that she's from the bloodline of Yahweh Shah himself. But he, hey, the brother said, well, which children did Yahweh Shah have? What scripture does it say Yahweh Shah had children? And, you know, of course she wasn't going to know that. Of course she wasn't going <laughs> to. It wasn't nothing she could say, or say about that, man. You know, but reincarnation is real. You know, reincarnation is real. So we've been here before. You know, but nonetheless, this lady was completely bugged out. And I got two verses on women. I don't necessarily want to go into this, uh, but I do want to bring them out just before I continue. This is Proverbs 9 and 13. It says, uh, a foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. And see, this woman was clamorous, man. She was completely simple. She was foolish. All right. She didn't know anything what she was talking about. Now, sometimes she would say some things that were correct. Like she was like, yeah, we, we, uh, we, the jewels, you know, she said stuff like that, but she thinks she's just talking about, uh, Israel. Number one. Secondly, she thinks that these brothers are devils. So she doesn't under, she doesn't recognize the spirit. She doesn't recognize a righteous man when she sees one. She doesn't recognize the spirit of Yahweh Basham al Shah. And so these brothers were, were tagging her up, you know, with the things that she was saying. And, uh, you know, the elder brother from uh, D.C. was out there, too. And uh, he was going in about how, you know, and I wanted I might do a separate lesson and I wrote some verses down for it. But he was talking about how uh, there were women uh, and people, period, that were spitting on the Lord as he was about to get crucified. And, you know, she had that same vibration because she was literally disrespecting the Lord and the things that they, they were saying. She was really disrespectful, and the Lord heard that. Every idle word, man, that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in a day, right? In that day, man, she definitely was, the, you can tell she was in the spirit of crucify, crucify him, crucify him, let his blood be upon us and our children. But this is Proverbs 27 and 15. It says, a continual dropping in a, in a very rainy day, and the contentious women are alike. You know, you when you go into that word contentious, Basically, a woman who's always objecting, like always going against you, always fighting against you, nagging you, you know. And so it's just like a all day. It's just raining, just drops. And that's just a good example. The other day I was going to do a lesson in my car, but it was it was raining so much on the car that the lesson would have sounded bad. You know how much rain was coming down. And so it says it's just like a continual dropping on a very rainy day is. That's how a contentious woman is, just constantly nagging, just the rain is not going to let up, you know, and she she's the same way. She just wasn't letting up. She just wanted to pour out all her self-righteousness and all her all, all her answers because she knew everything. She had all the truth. And you see, this lady was out there with him for a minute, just constantly being a demon, man, you know, which is which is not OK in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. OK, um. Let me get this real quick. This is Jeremiah 6 and verse 16. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way and walk therein? And ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. You see, so we're showing the people the old paths. We're showing you how to uh, return back to your power. All right, through the spirit. We're showing you uh, who the 12 tribes are and how you can best uh, navigate yourself to finding out which tribe you come from. You don't have to you, you don't you don't have to tap in at City Hall. You don't have to log in to Ancestry.com. You don't have to go and take a, a, a DNA test. All right. All those things are unnecessary. All right. That's unnecessary. Anybody that does that, they're of the flesh. They're carnal. They're not of the spirit. OK. And uh, and so that's why people are getting rejected left and right. And they're not even seeing it, man. Right. And they don't want the rest. They say we don't walk therein. 
right? It says, also, I said, watchmen over you saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. And that's what this lady was doing. She wouldn't hearken unto the words of the Lord, man. And actually, I want to read verse 30 just because it's a good point. It says, reprobate silver shall men call them because the Lord have rejected them. You see, so this lady is like reprobate silver, man. And she's being rejected by Yahweh Hashem Shai. And based on the things that she was saying, man, she was she really was saying some out of pocket, vile, if I could some some vile things about the Lord, man, which are just indecent. And even though she was she's trying to call these brothers devils. All right. Which is, she was the one that being the devil, she had no clue what she was talking about, you know? Only the things that she had learned out of wickedness, instead of learning, instead of sitting up there and listening and learning, she could have gained so much. But instead, she was getting rebuked, you know? The brothers were cutting her without even talking to her at first. And I probably watched about, um, I think I was uh, about uh, 18, 19 minutes in uh, when I stopped it. Um, before I was in, uh, encouraged through the Spirit to do this lesson. But um, Ecclesiastes 1 and 11, it says, There is no remembrance of the formal thi of the former things, neither shall there be any remembrance of all things to come with those that shall come after. So she's saying she's a direct descendant out of uh, from King David when she doesn't know if that's true or not. You know, there is no actual factual way for you to prove that you could be she shit you know you don't have, okay so first off to be out of king david's uh bloodline right you would have to be from the tribe of judah and so i believe she could be because like i said how she acting but she could also be a levite she could also be a benjamite she could even be northern kingdom for all that she knows right but this lady just has a complete lack of understanding of of who she is and how the spirit works and see, that's why it says that these people are, she's being natural. And the brothers called her a brute beast because uh, it says she's a, she's a, like a natural man. Like she's not spiritually discerned. All right. She's not spiritually discerned to understand how the heavenly father and how the spirit works. Right. She's only preoccupied with her understanding and thinking that she can school. That <laughs> I find it so interesting that you have... You know, I, I'm not sure how many brothers are actually standing out there right now. But if I had to guess, it's probably about seven of them, maybe. If I had to take guess, maybe anywhere from five to seven of those brothers out there. And you will have, and this, I see this at every camp. These demons, that's how you know these people be having legion on them. Because you got, let, let's just say seven brothers. You got seven brothers that are out there, all right, with garments on, with beat up Bibles in their hand, talking about the word of the Most High, but yet these people feel compelled in their spirit that they need to go up and say something and that they can rebuke these men. I just find that, and this is really all the spirit of the Lord. We know it's done for edification's sake. And, uh, up, and that's what the elder brother said. It's, uh, it's, it's balanced because we speak life to the elect, but we also speak death to the two thirds and the wicked. All right. And he's right. He's absolutely right. You know, and so a woman can think it's her place to come up and talk to these group of men who are prophesying on the street. You know, she would even be out of line if this was a, a, a group that don't got the truth. You know, he would these other Israelite groups. She still be out of line. You know, how much more the men of the Lord this is uh, first Timothy one and four. It says neither give heed to fables. And endless genealogies, which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith, so do. All right. So this, the Lord says, don't give heed to fables, which means don't even give your time, energy. Don't listen. All right. To fables. And I believe fables, I believe, go into like storytelling. You know, if I'm not um, if I'm not mistaken or tales. You know, but it says endless genealogies, endless genealogies and write your genealogy, right? Gene, right? Ology, your study of your, your, uh, your, man, your bloodline, your history, your pedigree. You know, we, we go after our fathers and we do the best we can through the spirit. But endless genealogy, we don't got to sit up and be like, oh, yeah, we registered. Yeah, we went down to county. We went down to the state and got them to sign up. 
so we can, you know, have a proof on our on our ID where it's a Israelite tribe of Judah. Like, you know what I'm saying? We don't got to do all of that, man. And this is because she's carnal. And so even with that, she doesn't even understand that, that that's irrelevant in the eyes of the Heavenly Father. And she was also saying, I'm saying, mad, wicked. Um, let me finish this before I make that point. It says, which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. So do so. Right. So the, all it does is serve to uh, just questions, just unnecessary questions rather than godly edifying. And that's what they were doing. These brothers had godly edifying going on while this lady was just trying to get into genealogy and the fact that she has, she's registered. Everybody down there know me. You know, yeah, it's a whole lot of Edomites down in County City Hall that know you is registered under the tribe of Judah. <laughs> you understand the folly that you're speaking right now. The Lord, when the Lord returns on his chariots, with his chariots, he's not going to look down and, and pull you over like Esau and be like, hey, yo, Yo, run your ID to let me see if you uh got tribe of Judah with fringes on your ID. You ain't going to do that, man. You must be out your damn mind. These people do not understand the spirit. And I'm starting to realize that more and more on a daily basis. They are completely unaware of the spirit. And that's because the Lord have blinded these people, man. All right? The Lord ain't, <laughs> the Lord ain't show these people no love because he said they are reprobate. He said they are... Uh, born in vain, man. And the brothers mentioned that as well. Um, this is uh, there's one more I want to get on that. That topic, uh, this is uh Titus three. Um and very I'll go straight to the point. Uh verse nine. Actually, let me read up. I'll start at five. It says, Not by works of righteousness which we have done, but according to his mercy he saved us. By the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Spirit, see that we're we're made, uh, we're we're Lord willing weirdos of those of that number, we're going to be saved by His mercy. All right, by the washing of regeneration and being renewed, we're renewed in our minds. All right, and we're new, renewed by the Holy Spirit. We're not renewed by, because at the end of the day, we we take some kind of pride in what tribe we're part of. But if you really want to get down to the nitty gritty right now, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're from the tribe of Judah. It doesn't matter if you're from the tribe of um, Zebulon. It doesn't matter if you're from the tribe of Gad. You know, we take pride in that. But at the end of the day, even if a brother says, I know I'm an Israelite, I'm not quite sure what tribe I'm part of. He might have a, a inkling or a, a hint but he, but some brothers will say, hey, I'm, I'm not, I'm not sure. I think I might be this or that, you know. But the, knowing that fact is not what it's all about. You better be thankful that you're an Israelite, and even more so thankful if you have a shot at being part of the hopeful elect, man. That's what it really comes down to. But it, uh, going on, it says, which he shed on us abundantly through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, our Savior, that being justified by His grace. We should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. And see, it says, uh, through Yahweh Shah Mashiach, that's the name of the Lord, which she was getting wrong. But um, she did mention, she said, oh, well, all of y'all born through marriage. And the answer to that is yes. She said the, co the covenant, she was speaking about the covenant. Basically, what this lady is saying that you have to be married legally. She said, if you aren't married, basically, if you aren't married legally, you're cursed. And man, we are already cursed. If you know the curses of Deuteronomy, but no, all these according to the marriage of Yahweh Shemel Shai through sex, yes, we are all born out of marriage, man. <laughs> Point blank, period. Ain't no way around it. All right. Um, but going on, it says, and I that's a whole nother lesson. Um, but I just wanted to say that it says that this is a faithful saying, and these things I will that I affirm constantly. That they which have believed in the Most High might be careful to maintain good works. And see, that's what they said. They, they were mentioning that too. The brother says, it's all about those that believe. That's really what this comes down to, those that believe. And this lady clearly don't believe, man. It says, these things are good and profitable unto all men. Excuse me. These things are good and profitable unto men. But avoid foolish questions. It's, what did she say? Oh, do y'all have, a, are y'all registered? That's a foolish question. And so brothers was avoiding that. And genealogies, brothers was avoiding that. You know, so 
this is uh, prove it. You can you you gonna prove the in the records. You know that's what we had in ancient time. You gonna prove in the record. And there were many times in the records where in ancient time they would they were they were, um, you know, they weren't able to prove certain men were in the records, right? It says, uh, but avoid foolish questions and genealogies and contentions. See, I spoke about being a contentious woman, right? Objections. That's why it says, uh, matter of fact, I'm going to go on because I forgot this the next verse. It says, and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable in vain, right? So going back and forth with you about the law, all right, that's unprofitable in vain. And see, and our, this is a, 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 a testament to our last camp. We spent a little bit too long on Jake that was out there, but I guess because he seemingly, he wasn't no straight two-third demon, but he just had a lot of lack of understanding because of the people who have been teaching him for so long that he don't understand how serious this thing is. But nonetheless, you know, the Lord set it up now to where he had heard it, you know, but so we were going to strivings about certain things about the law that we probably shouldn't have concerning weed and things like that. But nonetheless, it says they are unprofitable in vain pointless man it says a man that is a heretic after the first and second admonition reject and that's that's this lady and that's the guy who we had a had at camp you know they're they're heretics man and when you go into heresy there's really uh non-belief disbelief you know preaching something adverse to the scriptures all right so the first and second admonition reject so these people are rejected not just by us, but through the Spirit, and they're rejected by Yahweh Hashem Yahshai. The scriptures say, um, uh, Hosea 4 and 6, all right? It says, you are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. And so I reject, I will reject thee and thy children, okay? So these people are completely foolish, man. And so we don't, we don't, we don't need to involve ourselves in that. And these brothers were doing a very skilled job and uh, illustrating this, you know, through the spirit. I did want to get, I told you I was going to, I mentioned one about um, when they did have records in the pack, because, you know, when you read Chronicles and things like that, it did have lists of men's uh, genealogy, right? And the descendants. But those, those lists, they're not necessarily gone, but we don't keep those records of, uh, of our lineage now from, uh, ancient Israel, you know, up until now, because it says that we will be disconnected, discontinued from our heritage, according to Jeremiah f um, 17 and 4, you know. Uh, but this is Ezra 2 and 62. It says, These sought their register among those that were reckoned by genealogy, but they were not found. Therefore were they as polluted put from the priesthood. So in ancient times, there were times when we had records of uh everybody's birth but you at a certain time men would go to war or they, they they finally would settle somewhere else and then they would come back and visit you know there were times when you you couldn't always prove that you were of the israelite stock all right but now that we have to understand this we understand through the spirit okay not according to your flesh and because if this is the case well uh, the individuals that look like so-called white people Right, if they walk in and say they from the tribe of Judah, you people, if you go based on according to the flesh, you can be like, nah, you ain't from the tribe of Judah, you an Edomite. That's what y'all you would do. But that's going off, man. You gotta go. Everything is according to the spirit, man. You know, and it says that the you know the 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 birthright is not reckoned, um, is is not reckoned by genealogy, you know, it's reckoned by the spirit. The same goes with things how we do now. But let me get this. This is 1 John 4 and 1. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the Most High, because many false prophets are going out into the world. Okay? And so we, we know that this lady, her spirit was off. All right? You got to see if it's of the Most High. This lady was off, man. It says, Hereby know you the spirit of the Most High. Every spirit that confesses that Yahweh Shah Mashiach is coming to flesh is of the Most High. And every spirit that confesses not that Yahweh Shai is come in the flesh is not of the Most High. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, where you have heard that it shall come, even now already is in the world. And this lady was an anti-anointed, an anti-Messiah. She really was, because the things that she was saying, she was being really blasphemous and disrespectful. Um, 
there was another verse that I wanted is what did I want? Um what was that first John four? I wanted verse six. It says, uh, we are of the most high. Matter of fact, I'll just continue reading on. It says, You are of the most high, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you and than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore they speak of the world, and the world heareth them. You see, this lady was of the world, you know, and so that's why she'll go somewhere else and somebody might think she's dropping knowledge. But this lady's of the world. This woman is not of the spirit. It says, we are of the most high. He that knoweth Yahweh, Basham Yahweh heareth us. He that is not of the most high, heareth not us. Hereby know we the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Jeesh. <laughs> you see that? It says, that's how we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. Man, that's that's a lesson on its own, too. You know, we are of the most high. Lord willing, we those men. We are the most high. And we know uh, and we know that the most high hears us. And uh, he uh, the, the people it says my sheep shall hear my voice. All right. So all the elect are going to be able to be like, hey, man, you know, these brothers are making sense. The doctrine of what they're saying is on point. But he that is not of the most high hear not us. Our gospel is here to those that are lost. Hereby we know the spirit of truth and the spirit of error. So when you're speaking certain things, that's why I say the things that come out of your mouth defileth you. You know, this lady, that lady was completely defiled. All right. With the things that she was saying and those brothers could see straight through it. You know, and that, but man, that lady was just so out of pocket on so many areas. And this is why we say a woman is supposed to speak in a church. This lady was loud. She was aggressive masculine energy you know and she was wrong <laughs> that's the crazy thing um ah, there's a scripture that talks about that ah, i can't remember exactly how it goes but basically it goes along with the uh the everyday the the worldly saying um the loudest person in the room is the weakest person in the room something along that effect you know basically like you know a fool is loud you know, she's loud and sound foolish, but a, a wise man, you know, keepeth his, holdeth his peace and doth doeth scarce smile a little. You know, things like that, man. Because this lady was, was gone, man. This lady was completely gone. I had about uh, maybe three more scriptures that I wanted to get. I'm not sure how applicable some of these other ones are. Let me see. Uh, this is Ephesians. Uh, three, and, uh, I'll start at three. It says, how that by revelation he made unto, known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Hamashiach, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. All right, so now, now, Lord willing, we're those men, starting with the apostles on down. We know the mysteries of the kingdom. We know the mysteries of the understanding of the Heavenly Father and His Son. We understand that now you don't got to sign. You can't sign up to be an Israelite. We know you can't convert to be an Israelite. If you're converting, it means converting your ways, okay? Knowing that, oh, you were a Buddhist, so now you got to follow Yahweh Bashem El Shai. Because you've been taken out of the world and out of that lowest state and out of that heathen mentality. All right. You you've been you've been changed through the spirit. All right. Um and this is uh Ephesians two and two. I'll start at one. And you and you have the quickened who were dead in trespasses and sins. Right? Quicken means to be to make alive, right? So the Lord make us alive. And this lady is dead. She's the spiritual to walk in dead, man, from the neck up. It says, wherein in time past, ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, Esau, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. And see, that's the spirit that's working in her, man. You know, when um, she was back there yelling, getting, you know, going, being in cahoots with the Romans, the Edomites. OK, and so they, they got the, the, the children of this, the, the children of disobedience are the two thirds of our people, man. OK, and they're they're going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction for the things that they say, the things that they do, 
for getting out of line, all right, for being disrespectful, disrespectful towards the men of the Lord and disrespectful first and foremost towards Yahweh and Yahweh Shad, not even willing to seek his name or to be quiet long enough to listen to maybe learn something you didn't know. They're automatically thinking you got the truth just because you listen to some peon in your family who doesn't know anything. This is 1 Corinthians 2 and 10. But the Most High have revealed them unto us by his Spirit. For the Spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep, deep things of the Most High. So the things that are revealed by the Spirit. But this lady don't. You can tell she's not walking in the Spirit as she's led. Matter of fact, that's a good one too. She's not walking in the Spirit as she's led. She's, she's being in the flesh. She's being carnal. Right? And the brother said, where your husband at? I I jumped forward when I was looking for something. I said, where your husband at? And she said, oh, he on his home way. He on his way home from work. Well, they say you need to take your ass home because he's supposed to have a hot meal on the table when he come home. That's not microwaved. <laughs> She's like, how you know I don't do that? Then why are you sitting up here talking to them? You need to go on and look after your husband, you know. But uh, we know how this generation is. This is um Romans eight and thirteen through fourteen. It says, for if ye live after the flesh, ye shall die. <laughs> but if ye through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body, ye shall live. For as many as are led by the spirit of the most high, they are the sons of the most high. And these men, all right, along with the uh, apostles and elders and other brothers around the four winds, all right, are led by the spirit of the most high. And those are the sons of the most high. And the Lord speaks about the Israel of God. You know, she wanted to talk about gold, the gold. Right. But the real gold is the elect. All right. Not not all of Israel, because two thirds of Israel is is uh, excess and waste right now is dross and feces and mire. That's all and in refuse, man. That's all two thirds of our people are. OK. And so um, those those two thirds of our people are going to be utterly destroyed. And she, the crazy thing is she knows that the Lord is coming back to destroy some. She said, the Lord come back to, to, to fuck some shit up. Some she said like that. And it's true, but you're going to be part of that shit that's getting fucked up. If you don't repent and stop getting out of pocket like you was doing. All right. Um, this is, uh, I want to get this last one and I'll wrap it up with this one. This is John chapter 14 and verse, uh, 16. It says, and I will pray the father. And he shall give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you and shall be in you. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Right. And so the Lord gave us his knowledge, wisdom and understanding. All right. And gave us these words, because when you go into John 60, 63, it says the flesh profiteth nothing. All right, but these the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life, right? But this lady doesn't understand that she thinking that she can sign up and know, oh, she's good to go with the most high now because her ID say tribe of Judah on it. All right, man, you 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 want to prove you an Israelite through slave documents, through covenants with the heathen, instead of getting with the covenant, matter of fact. Instead of getting with the covenant of the Most High, excuse me, instead, instead of realizing what you did incorrectly, all right, and trying to amend this relationship, you know, you're too busy. That's the problem with, that's how, that's what Esau did so bad to our people to the point where they feel like everything got to be done inside a courtroom, all right? But you're, you, instead of going to the ultimate judge, you people, all you think all of your problems can be solved in the courtroom, all right? You put Esau in the middle of everything instead of putting the real middleman in there, who is Yahweh Shai. You wanna, you go to court for when you wanna sue somebody. You go to court when you got a domestic case when you and your woman get into it. You gotta go to court with goddamn uh, tickets from everywhere. You gotta go to court if any kind of crime is committed. You always gotta court go to court uh, to involve Esau. You gotta go to the court. Uh, a divorce. You got to go to the court for goddamn uh, registration, everything. You got to put the court in the middle of it, right? And so since you de decided not to go after the Lord, the Lord is going to uh, bring down his judgment, man. He gonna, you're going to come into his courts 
And you're going to be treading down. You're going to be trotting down too, man. But this is a Baruch 2. And uh, I'm going to start at 32. And then I'll, I'll give it to 30. I'll end it on 35. It says, and they shall praise me in the land of their captivity and think upon my name, which is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, not Yeshua. It says, and return from their stiff neck and from their wicked deeds, for they shall remember the way of their fathers, which sinned before the Lord. But this lady clearly doesn't remember. It says, and I will bring them again into the land, which I promised with an oath unto their fathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and they shall be lords of it. And I will increase them and they shall not be diminished. It says, uh, and I will make an everlasting covenant with them to be their power and they shall be my people. And I will no more drive my people of Israel out of the land that I've given them. You see, even though that's talking about all of Israel, but the ones who are going to be ruling over this and experiencing this first are the uh, uh, elect. And who's the everlasting covenant is going to be with all Israel after the judgment of Babylon and the world comes, right? But at the end of the day, that right now, that covenant is standing with uh, the elect. And they were speaking about that uh, grape of the cluster that the Lord is dealing with now, the elect, the remnant, man. All right? So this lady is bugged out, man. She better repent before it's too late. You know, because Yahweh Shai is making a return, man. You know, and, and our people right now, that that's what you're worried about, making an Israelite registration instead of trying to get registered with the Most High and uh and get rid of these sins, all right? So, hey, Lord, when this lesson was edifying, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakhach, Wadash, double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the house of David, the elect. Until next time, Shalom.